What's good, y'all? It's the Duma Shed, Saria, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American reaction. So excited about this video. If you're new to us and we're new to you, make sure you scroll down, hit that subscribe button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're on the road to 200k. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family without further ado. Let's get into the video. Let's get it. This is Kylie Chuck, a neighborhood in South Africa with the highest murder rate on the continent. Oh, man. And that's me, a curious German boy who wanted to go there. Last year, I flew to South Africa to do my studies abroad. And I also volunteered at a local school in Kailicha, but I was never allowed to leave the premises for safety reasons. Kailicha is considered the fastest growing neighborhood. So after finishing this semester, I was curious to explore the area for myself. Qu'est-ce que tu penses? C'est dangereux? Someone can the camera. Ah, they, they can kill you. They shoot. Good luck. Good luck. Just be careful. Yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. That bad? Like, everybody on guard, for real, for real. Oh, okay. And where is that? It's, it's did he say Cape Town? Uh, uh, he, just said, he just said South Africa, but this is the location here. Okay. Uh, you can say that five times. I can't say it one time. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's mainly populated by people of the Kosa tribe. Yeah, for the last year, I've been taking language classes in East Kosa. That's an African clicking language, which is very unique. Morin, ha, Ninjan. I've been learning about the culture for one year at the school in Kailicha and another year studying at the University of Cape Town. And to make sure I don't get in trouble, I found someone who speaks the language to help me fill it. The next morning, we made our way onto the road. But before arriving there, I needed to stop for some gas. Oh, Baba, you have some, some tips for me because I'm going to Kailicha now. Every time that you hear something, you can't shoot. But as long as not you, you should get shot. You hear the gunshots? Yeah, every time sometimes you it's not our first time here then. The last film he showed was a film that we had seen when a gentleman had went out there. I'm not too clear on why he went there, but we did do a video. That was this this township? I think that was this township. I think oh. so. Okay. And um, the, the gangs was going back and forth, and uh, the, uh, the apartments were like basically facing each other across the street. Oh, yeah, okay. see? Okay. There you go. I think I yeah. As we drove through Kailicha, I noticed a bunch of food stands alongside the road. And I thought these would be a good place to start the day. Morning. Good morning. Nijani. How much? How much? As I was waiting for the food, I heard someone approach me from behind. But it turned out those people were just happy to see a stranger visit. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> In Osa culture, to become a man, you go to the mountains to get circumcised. And learn traditions that are only shared amongst other men. And this kind gentleman offered to take me there. Yeah, um, if I'm not mistaken, you guys had told us that that's a, this is sacred and they're not supposed to have this on film. Right, someone someone sent the video in for us to react to it, and we did, and y'all was like, no. Got us in trouble. Got us in trouble. Ooh, they were crazy in the comment section. Mm -hmm. It's like, y'all might want to take that down. Yeah, but they was respectful about it. They wasn't like, facts, the, facts. y'all doing? No, yeah. they was respectful about it. 100%. In dub. Yeah, in dub. In Gomsu. What is that? Come along, good Noah. 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 Dennis, Noah. Ne? Dennis. Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Likewise, Noah, you can take us to the. Shout out, man. That's what's up. Chicken That's what's up. Nice it's like chicken wings, just chicken feet. The breakfast of chicken feet left me kind of thirsty. I'm costly, man. So after Dennis helped me wash my hands, Thank you. I went on to look for something to drink. Beer. Beer. And after this first pleasant encounter with the locals, I felt more confident meeting new people. I was looking for someone who could tell me about the area and help me understand why you hear so much bad about it on the news. The deadly shootings in the area, which left 11 people Five dead people. and several Deputy others seriously injured. Four men were shot in the 
So I bought a beer and sat down to chat some locals. Cheers. Even though we had an interesting discussion about our favorite beers, the place was super loud, so I couldn't ask any serious questions. Now, I don't know about you, but I always have the best conversations when I'm getting my hair cut. Barbers usually know the area really well. So after my short stay at the pub, I went out to the barber to find out more about Kylie Chan. Oh, yeah. nice nice. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Have a seat. Sure. Yeah. 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 Uh, nah, I can take the awesome name. Yeah, name, but the mm-hmm. Nah, I don't I don't have one. You might I'll give you. You'll give you to you know what it means? As we're listening to music, he showed me songs of some local artists. And he told me there was a group of Kaicha based rappers not far from here who would be happy to talk to me and show me around the area. This sounded super interesting to me. So I decided to message them. I gotta say I gotta say one of our favorite interactions with you all is being named. Yeah. That is something that we do hold dear to us because, like he mentioned, brings peace. Y'all names have so many great meanings behind it. Mm-hmm. And if you ever hear, get the privilege to be named by someone from South Africa, um, yeah, I mean, hold on to it. Write it down. Make sure you remember it because it's, it's, it's meaningful. It really yeah, is. we have a lot. We have quite a few. Got to hold a notebook. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> This is Isona, the founder of the record label. He was kind enough to show me around their studio and their workplace. And after we listened to some of their songs, I got a chance to ask them my question. There's obviously the rough side of, of Kylie Jenner. I mean, which does exist, but I think it's always like portrayed as if this is the only thing that you're gonna get. Yeah. that there's about no. one million people who are living in this in this like township. Kylie Jenner is home to all of us. People are like scared of, ah, oh, there's a lot of people there. What if I get robbed? No, you won't. People are once you show close. them your kindness, they'll return it. But once you show them the other side, then they'll show you their <laughs> other side. <laughs> <laughs> the boys wanted to show me around the area and introduce me to some crazy local food. <laughs> uh, let's get it. Yeah. This one is the eye. This one eye. The eye. eye. Yeah. You don't eat without this spice. You have to. Take this spice. Mm. <laughs> nice, nice and tender. When you come along, Odisa. O- Odisa. Do you know the girl? How do they call me? They say Sana, <laughs> no? Sana. Or they say Tanda Sam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Sila. Yes, and Granny. Oh. There was still lots for me to discover. And just before I left, I actually saw something I never expected. After COVID hit, a lot of the people couldn't afford rent. So they just started buying whatever space that was available. This is like this. They got COVID names. So one of the what? areas is called social distance. <laughs> There's one called vaccine as well. <laughs> Another one called sanitizer. If I want to ask them, if I want to ask them, if I want to ask them, with the sauce, please. Number Damn, we were quick. <laughs> I went on to explore some more, spoke to more people, and even visited a sports club that I heard about on campus. In the townships where there is no physical activity after school, we happen to be the first club to have this sports club. Oh, man. Before my trip here, I'd expected to be met with violence. What I found was positive and ambitious people, and I was welcomed with open arms. And as I was about to head back home, Isona called me and told me there was something I had to see before I leave. And I saw they were shooting a music video for one of their latest songs. Osa has such a beautiful language, and it's great to see people making content to spread around the world. What's the What's the story of the Yo, song? Who wanted the girl? He wanted the girl. <laughs> Did it work out? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. What is better? She got married, but you got a song out of it. (laughs) (laughs) So you're getting paid. (laughs) (laughs) If we look at 
the original design. In the 1940s, there was the apartheid government. The minority white people continued to rule and making sure that black people never came to all pieces of land or resources. That is why townships are notorious for being underserviced, places with high crime. And of course, because it's so condensed, the policing system, it's not sufficient to help curb the crime. So it just keeps getting worse and worse. More and more people are moving from the rural areas. And for them, this is this is the land of opportunity. And how else do you stop infrastructure and buildings to be built into these environments? You paint the picture as negative. Yeah. And that way, yeah. no one do goes there, tourists doesn't visit, because mm -hmm. they're instantly thinking about what the news painted the image or the location to look like. And that's basically how that works. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. For a change, they can go and put a stand on the road and actually make money. It's a home to a lot of people. Yeah. Kailicha, so yeah. Shout out to Kailicha. <laughs> Which means new home. New home. New home. New home. And you can help right now by donating to the Bapu Melele's Children's Home in Kailicha. A place that welcomes orphans from the streets and offers them a new home. You can donate at beastphilanthropy.org to help with food deliveries and help build 12 new homes in the area. So instead of buying a coffee today, consider donating and making an impact. And if you like the songs in this video, you can check out the amazing artists in the description below. Let's get it. Mercy. Alright y'all, we're gonna stop right at man. Make sure you guys are gonna check his channel out. I think he painted a very beautiful picture of Kalaishe, if I'm saying it pronounced. Kalisha. Kalisha, I think I added another A. <laughs> that way. Um, but yeah, end of the day, it's all about the image, bro. Don't get your image and your perspective fogged with negativity all because of what you're hearing. Don't let people throw salt on something that you never really had a chance to experience. Yeah, do your own research and ask the locals. It's not hard to get in contact with a South African hmm. if you're looking to go there. Yeah. <laughs> always be safe. Always understand that you're a person coming from someone else, so you may not know the ins and outs about things, but always have an open mind. Facts, facts. Yeah. Yes, All right. sir. All right, y'all. We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.